here are three things that you need to consider or think about if you are looking for an attorney to represent you. If you need an attorney to help you in an area of law, the first thing you need to think about is does that attorney practice the particular area of law that you're looking for? My name is Laura Hurd and I've been practicing family law, which is divorces and probate, which is your division of inheritance in San Antonio, Texas since 1987. When an attorney goes to law school, they do study all the different kinds of areas of law, but the law is constantly changing. And in order to keep up with those areas, that attorney needs to be working in that area and constantly educate themselves. In order to stay educated on all the areas of law in a state, you, can, you wouldn't have enough time to keep up with it all unless you're a full-time student and then you wouldn't be practicing law. So an attorney has to focus on just two or three areas and become good in those areas. And so if you're, if you're talking to a bankruptcy attorney, they're not going to know anything about divorce. And if you're talking to a workers' comp attorney, they're not going to know anything about inheritance. You need to find the attorney that primarily practices the area of law that you are interested in. Secondly, you need an attorney who has experience. There's really no substitute for experience. They say it takes 10,000 hours of doing something before you actually become an expert at it. I've been practicing law for 35 years. If you have an attorney who has just graduated from law school last year, you better make sure that that attorney is being supervised by a more experienced attorney to guide them and to help them make sure that they're doing things right. So it's not how old the attorney is, but it's how long ago did they graduate from law school. And finally, how well can you communicate with that attorney? It doesn't matter if you have the best attorney in the world, if you're so intimidated that you can't talk to them, you can't tell them your story, or they never have time to talk to you. How can they represent you if they don't spend the time to get to know you and find out about your case? So when you go in for that initial consultation, it's not how much education they had that you should be looking for as much as how comfortable are you talking to them and do they say things that make sense to you. I hope this helps. Think about their education and their experience and the area of law that they primarily practice, but most of all, make sure that you can talk to and communicate with that attorney.